These earbuds actually have holes in them. Okay. Well, hello there. Welcome back. I'm Dave from Chase the Summit. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Sony Link Buds. These earbuds are really interesting. They're very unique. And I thought they might be the perfect running earbud. So that's what we're gonna find out in this video today. So let's backpedal a bit and talk about the earbuds that I've tried on this channel. I've got a lot of earbuds. I've got these Jaybird Vista 2s here, the Powerbeats Fit Pro, and I probably have another like 30 or 40 pairs of earbuds sitting in a box at my house. I've literally been on the journey to find the perfect pair of earbuds for running and outdoor activities. And while the something like the Jaybird Vista 2s or the Beats Fit Pros come really close, there is still one kind of safety factor that I always run into with these closed off style earbuds. And it's that you really can't hear what's going on around you while you're listening to music while you're running. And yes, there are a lot of earbuds out there like the Vista 2s and Beats Fit Pro that have something called transparency mode that tries to let you hear the ambient sound around you using electronics and microphones to plumb that sound into your ears. But it's not perfect because because it doesn't let you hear everything. And that's where the Sony Link Buds come in. And that's what really got me interested about them. With all that babbling out of the way, let's talk about what actually comes in the box with the Sony Link Buds. As you can see here, it's just a pretty simple box. It says Sony Link Buds on the front. And what I appreciate about these is that they don't have a real wacky name like a lot of Sony earbuds, like their other models or the XM1000-M4, blah, blah, blah. These are just the Sony Link Buds. Okay, let's pop these puppies open and see what comes in the box. Uh, as a fair warning, I have been wearing these for a few days, but I figured I'd still do some sort of unboxing to show you what comes inside. So you've got an inner box here, and then when you fold that open, you do have a couple of tabs. So this first tab is kind of an instructional thing. And then when you flip that up, you've got an additional little tab here, which again, tells you to download the app and then some instructions on how to fit them within your ear. And all the way inside, we do have the uh, earbuds themselves. And here is the little case. So here we have the Sony Link Buds case. Case. And right off the bat, this is a really small case. I really appreciate this because if you look at it compared to something like uh, the Beats Fit Pro case here, you can see that is considerably bigger, even though it's a little bit thinner, but overall the footprint is much bigger. And even if we compare them to the Jaybird Vista 2s, which I found to be really small and easy to put in my pocket, again, the uh, Link Buds are still smaller. And what I like about this case is there's actually a little button here that opens it up. Whereas these other earbuds, like the Vista 2s here, they, they're just magnetically closed. So if you throw them in a backpack or something, they can pop open and your earbuds can end up in the bottom of your backpack and you have to go find them. Uh, I do appreciate that the link buds here actually have a little button and when you push that button, the case just kind of pops open and there are the earbuds themselves. Walking around the exterior of the case a little bit, it's pretty simple. On the top here, you got a little Sony logo. Uh, around the front, like I just mentioned, there is a button to open the, the case itself. Then above that, there is a single status LED that'll show your charge level. Uh, flipping the case over, we've got the hinge in the back. We've got a USB type C connection in the back. And then we have a pairing button here. In terms of setup and pairing with these, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just like every earbud on the planet, you open them up, you hold the pairing button on the back. And for me, I use an iPhone 13 Pro. I had no issues pairing these with my iPhone. And on top of that, I also had no issues pairing the Link Buds with my Garmin Epix Gen 2 or Garmin Phoenix 7, if that's something you find to be important. All right, opening up the case, you can see here, again, here are the two earbuds. And let's just pull one out to get a closer look at it. Uh, if you look here, you can see the earbud itself is very unusually shaped. This is not like a typical earbud you'd find anywhere else in the market. The first thing you're gonna notice about the Link Buds is that there's actually a hole right in the middle of the speaker that goes right up next to your ear canal. So when you sit, seat these in your ear, the large part in the back here actually goes towards the back of your ear and then you kind of stick it in there and twist it to lock it in. And as you can see, there's actually a really secure fit in my ear. I've got pretty big ears, even though I'm kind of a small dude, so just keep that in mind. One thing to note is that the Link Buds do come with a series of little silicone uh, wing tips. You can see here, I've got one fitted on here. By default, it comes with a medium size attached to them. Uh, I had to go up to the large size because I've got comically large ears for the size of my head. And after they're in there, I, I have a really secure fit. I can't shake them out. I think I'm pretty good. The only way I can get them to feel a little bit loose is if I chew or yawn. 
I can get them to kind of move around a little bit, but they don't fall out. They just feel a little less secure. Something to note about these is you can see here, they fit well in my ear, but I've actually read through the reviews on Amazon and I noticed a series of people complaining that uh, they couldn't actually fit the whole device in their ear. So if you have smaller ears, uh, these might be a problem for you and I would definitely purchase from somewhere with a good return policy. But for me, they actually fit pretty well. Now here's the standout feature. Obviously I'm talking to you unencumbered by the fact that that I have earbuds in, and that's thanks to that hole that's actually right in the middle of the earbud. This allows me to speak and hear myself and hear the nuanced sounds coming in from the window over here. I can hear cars driving by. Uh, it's really not blocking my sense of hearing at all. Now, when it comes to build quality on the Sony Link Buds, I found them to feel uh, pretty robust in the hand. One thing about these is that they are incredibly light. I, I don't know the, the weight of them, but I gotta say they're probably like five grams or less super lightweight and when they're in your ear because they go all the way inside your ear uh, they don't hang out at all so there's no like cantilevered weight out there they feel extremely light and comfortable uh, i could see myself listening to these for hours without feeling any fatigue on my ears the sony link buds are rated for an ipx4 dust and water resistance which is great it means you can take them out for a run in a light rain you can sweat heavily and not have to worry about damaging them uh, one thing to note though is that the case itself is not rated for any sort of weather resistance. So if you do take the case and the earbuds out for a run, make sure you put the case in some sort of like Ziploc bag or something like that. In terms of battery life on the Sony Link Buds, you're looking at up to five and a half hours on the earbuds themselves, you know, just one continual listen. And when they die, you can pop them back in the case and get an additional 17 and a half hours, which is pretty good, but it's definitely not class leading for this price category. Let's talk about controls on the Sony Link Buds. When you have these in your ears, it's actually really interesting. Instead of actually tapping the earbuds themselves, which you can do, you can actually just tap the area around the earbud like this, just tapping on your temple will actually play or pause your music. Uh, and I found this to be really reliable. I thought this was gonna be kind of a gimmick where uh, you'd tap your head sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. But for the most part, every time I tap right in front of the earbuds, they play or pause pretty reliably. But I thought that was pretty cool. Another nice feature about the Sony Link Buds is that they're actually compatible with Sony's app that you can download from iOS or Google Play Store. And this app does all kinds of things. So you can see up at the top of the screen here that it's got the battery level for each earbud independently as well as the charging case, which is really nice. Below that, there's a few more options. There's something called speak to chat, which is pretty interesting. And I tested it out a little bit. Basically when you enable speak to chat, uh, if you start to talk to somebody while you're listening to music, the earbuds will actually automatically pause themselves so you can carry on your conversation. Below that there's an equalizer and you can dive into this and do all kinds of things. I've got mine customized, but you can also swipe around and choose things like speech or bass boost or all kinds of other settings. For me, the customized one sounds best to me because I've kind of tailored it to my ears. Below the equalizer, there's also a few other features, including uh, one tool that helps analyze your ear shape to optimize the sound best to your ears. I didn't have great luck with this and I found just customizing the EQ worked better for me, but your mileage may vary. From within the app is also where you can customize things like your controls. So here I've got my wide area tap enabled and that means I can tap on my head to play and pause my music. You can also enable or disable the pause when the headphones are taken out of your ears because they do actually have a proximity sensor that can detect when they're in your ear or when you take them out and that's also a nice feature. And of course below that we have options for things like firmware updates if you want to keep the earbuds up to date. Now let's talk about sound quality on the Sony Link Buds because this really surprised me. So when I first heard about these and saw pictures of them, I kind of expected that we'd be making a sacrifice in terms of sound quality in order to get the hole in the middle of the ear pad to get more of the amb ambient sound around me. Uh, I'm happy to report that these actually sound really good. Don't get me wrong, if you're like a bass head and love super loud booming bass, the Link Buds are not gonna be satisfying to you because these just don't have that kind of bass. And I think that's due to the open back design. However, they do have a really nice sound, a really flat, neutral profile in uh, hip hop sounds good, electronic music, rock music, podcasts sound really good on these. It's very clear, very crisp. Uh, I'm overall very impressed with the sound quality I'm getting out of these earbuds, especially after I tweaked the EQ a bit to suit my sound profile a little bit better. One issue I did run into with the Sony Link Buds is again, because of that open back design, uh, there is a problem with the max volume. They don't get super loud. And I found that if I tried to run with these on my treadmill, they're actually not 
blocking, they're not loud enough and they're not blocking any of the ambient sound. And that's just, the, the treadmill is just too loud to overcome the sound coming from the earbuds. So when I'm trying to listen to music on the treadmill, it's just not a great experience. Overall, the sound quality is pretty good. I'm gonna give it like a, you know, eight out of 10 because it sounds really high quality. However, uh, I wish the volume got a little bit louder because of the open back design. I feel like there's a lot of situations, like if you're commuting on a subway or on a train or something like that, you may run into issues with it not being loud enough. Another thing to mention about the Sony Link Buds when it comes to audio quality is because they do have an open back design, it does mean they do bleed audio a bit. And what that means is if you're sitting next to somebody on a bus and you're listening to some really loud music at max volume, the person next to you is probably gonna hear what you're listening to. So just keep that in mind if you're listening to these in a public space. Finally, let's talk price. The Sony Link Buds come in at $179, which is a little bit expensive, I think, for what you're getting. However, they are so novel and unique and there's new innovation that happened here to make these exist. I feel like that's why they cost a little bit more. But let's dive into the pros and cons. First of all, the cons. The Sony Link Buds do not have any form of wireless charging, which is kind of a bummer for me. Uh, I don't love the fact that I'll have to always have a cable with me when with my phone, I always have a wireless charger with me and it would be great if these were wireless charging enabled because at that price point, 179, 200 bucks, you're looking at the competition that all have wireless charging. The next con I'll mention is the volume. Like I said, they don't get super loud. So if you're using these on a treadmill or commuting or anything like that, these just may not be the best option for you. And the only other con I'll mention here, it doesn't affect me, but it might affect you, is going to be if you have smaller ears, these may be a problem to fit actually in your ears. So just keep that in mind. If you've got a smaller head, smaller ears, uh, you definitely wanna try these out before committing to buy them. With the cons out of the way, let's talk about who these earbuds are for. I think these are a really solid option for runners out there who might be considering something like bone conduction or aftershocks headphones, but don't love the sound quality of bone conduction headphones. And I would fall into that camp. Personally, I've never had great experience with bone conduction headphones because they kind of rattle around and tickle my head a little bit. And I just don't love the sound quality, even though I do like having my ears open to the surrounding sounds around me. Uh, these really fill that gap and they give me the opportunity to have really good sound quality and hear my surroundings while, when I'm out on my run. At the end of the day, overall, the experience taking these earbuds out on a run has been nothing short of fantastic. I really like the fact that I get really good quality audio and I can also hear the surroundings around me if there's a car beeping at me or somebody skidding, uh, screeching their tires or something. I can hear everything around me and still get really good audio and that just didn't exist before these earbuds. So yeah, the Sony Link Buds certainly have some compromises and they're a little bit expensive at 180 bucks, but they're so unique and they're so niche, I feel like, any Roadrunner out there would be really impressed by trying these out. Anyways, that's all I've got for this one. And I wanna hear from you. Are you interested in the Sony Link Buds? If you are, let me know in the comments down below what feature interests you. And if you're not and you found a good alternative, let me know about those too, because I'd love to hear that too. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. And if you've made it this far, you probably liked it. So you should probably go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below to let me know that you liked it. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're interested in picking up a pair of Sony Link Buds, check out the links in the description down below because those do help support my channel. That's all I've got for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I will uh, see you next time. Bye.